science means exploration let us explore the new techniques of separation in lesson number 5 separation of substances in previous class you have learned about the separation methods used to remove soluble and insoluble substances present in the mixture and now we are going to see some of the separation techniques related to the lesson they are churning separating funnel sublimation magnetic separation and using more than one method for separation before i start the class let me revise the concepts learned in the last class these are the methods used to separate insoluble substances present in the mixture these are the methods used to remove soluble substances present in the mixture in sedimentation heavier particles get settled at the bottom leaving the liquid part on the top due to its gravity it is then followed by decantation in this process the liquid part is allowed to pour into another container without disturbing the sediment the next process is filtration in filtration it involves the use of filtering device which retains the insoluble impurities and allows only liquid to pass through it and the next method is evaporation in this method liquid is allowed to vaporize by heat leaving the solid particles behind and those liquid part can be brought back by the process of condensation when evaporation and condensation occur simultaneously then it is known as distillation and now you are going to see the separation method the name of the method is churning it works under the principle of centrifugation it is the process by which lighter particles of a suspended solid is separated from a liquid for example it is used to separate butter from milk first picture shows the process of churning in ancient time churning is extensively used to separate or to obtain butter from curd first butter is taken in a large pot and fitted with a plunger which is allowed to agitate or stir vigorously very fastly to obtain butter from the curd second picture shows the process of centrifugation it is used to remove small solid particles present in the liquid it works by applying centrifugal force which separate the components present in the mixture in churning plugger is rotated to separate the components whereas in centrifugation the entire component entire mixture is allowed to rotate or spin in the machine centrifuge at constant speed for example blood is centrifuge to separate the components present in it it contains four components namely red blood cells white blood cells platelets and plasma when it is taken in a special tube named centrifuge tube and kept in the machine centrifuge machine and allowed to rotate at a constant speed it forms three different layer bottom layer is formed by dense red blood cells 
followed by leukocytes and platelets in the middle and the last topmost layer is formed by topmost layer is formed by plasma as it is light in weight so the components of blood has to be separated for testing so this is how blood is centrifuge when the two liquids are invisible with each other it can be separated by using a special apparatus namely separating funnel the following diagram shows the structure of separating funnel it has cone shaped structure attached with a stop clock this stop clock controls the flow of liquid in the funnel for example kerosene and water can be separated by this method take mixture of kerosene and water in the separating funnel and shake it vigorously and leave it undisturbed for some some time later it forms two different layers due to its density as water is heavy in weight it forms the bottom layer layer and kerosene forms the topmost layer now water is collected in the beaker after it gets collected close the stop clock stop cock and kerosene will be collected in the another beaker likewise two immiscible liquids can be separated by this method the method used to separate volatile substances from non volatile substances is known as sublimation in this process solid directly changes into gaseous state on heating for example camphor naphthalene balls iodine vaporize at room temperature that those solids directly convert into vapor at room temperature for example ammonium chloride and salt mixture can be separated by this method the following diagram shows the experimental setup of sublimation it requires the following apparatus they are china disc inverted tube cotton plug stand and burner first ammonium chloride and salt mixture can be taken in the china disc when it is allowed to heat ammonium chloride starts to vaporize and gets settled at the sides of the tube cotton plug prevents the escape of ammonium chloride so after the process of sublimation we get ammonium chloride in the inverted tube and salt in the china disc this is how sublimation process occurs and the next method is magnetic separation it is the process of separating components of mixture by using magnets especially to attract magnetic materials for example mixture of iron and impurities can be separated by this method usually iron is extracted from iron iron mine Um, and it is said to be iron ore as it contains dust 
sand along with it. So that iron ore has to be powdered and allowed to undergo magnetic separation. So this powder is allowed to pass through the magnetic belt. Non-magnetic particles get collected in a separate container and the magnetic particles get collected in the separate container. This is how iron gets separated from its impurities. So far we have learned different separation techniques used to obtain certain substances present in a mixture. Do you think only one separation te technique is enough to separate all the components present in the mixture? Or do you require more than one method for separation? Let us explore now. Let us take the mixture of sand and salt in a beaker. Which separation method is used to separate this type of mixture? First, what you have to do? You have to pour water in the mixture so that salt is soluble in water and sand is not soluble in water. Salt gets settled with the dissolved with the water and sand gets settled at the bottom of the container. This process is known as sedimentation. Later, it has to undergo decantation process. Salt water is poured into another container without disturbing the sand at the bottom. So, sand is separated by sedimentation and decantation method. Now, the salt water is taken in a separate vessel and allowed to boil so that water present in the mixture gets evaporated leaving the granules of salt in it. Those water vapors can also be brought back by the process of condensation in separate beaker. So, we are able to get sand, salt and water separately by the processes of sedimentation, decantation, evaporation and condensation. Likewise, in certain mixture, we require single separation technique, whereas for most mixture, we use more than one method for separation. Let us recall the new terms we have learned today. They are churning, centrifugation, sublimation, agitation, separating funnel, volatile, iron ore, ammonium chloride, china dish and burner. I hope you are aware of the separation methods learnt in today's class and the exploration never ends. We explore new concepts in the upcoming class.